Hey everyone, Steve here at SKS Props, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make plastic chainmail. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Steve here at SKS Props, and I am accompanied by my wife, Denise. Hey. And today we're gonna to talk about plastic chainmail. And that came about when I decided to make my Death Dealer cosplay. I didn't want to deal with metal rings and all the additional weight and cost that go into that. And so I looked at what the guys at Weta had done for Lord of the Rings, where they had made almost all the stunt and background characters have plastic chainmail. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to take some inch and three quarter and one inch PVC pipes. We're going to cut them down and we're going to show you how to put them all together. Let's get to it. Before we go ahead and cut this out on the bandsaw, I want to talk to you about the pipe that we chose. I decided to go to electrical and actually get conduit, and I decided to do that because this is gray. You could of course go to plumbing and get the white or the blue stuff, but my fear overall is that paint doesn't really stick very well to either one of these surfaces for an extended period of time, so my thought was going to conventions and doing photo shoots. The gray would hold up better because if anything chips off of this, you're still going to have that kind of metallic surface. If your silver or black paint chips off of this, a lot of that white's going to show through. So my recommendation, go to electrical, pick up the conduit. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is figure out the thickness of the rings that you're going to want in the build. I decided to go with quarter inch rings, and so I set up a fence here to go along the side of my bandsaw, so every single ring that comes out is going to be the exact same size. Remember guys, safety first. Always remember to wear your safety goggles. After you finish cutting out your rings, don't forget to shop shower. <laughs> now that we have our rings, we can move over to the disc sander and get rid of all the plastic burrs. There's lots of different websites out there that'll show you different chainmail techniques. I'm quickly going to demonstrate the Japanese 4-in-1 just to show you how quick I can put these rings together. The first thing I'm going to do is go through all of the 1-inch and actually make a small incision with a clip. And what that'll do is allow the larger inch and 3 quarters to snugly fit in there. So let's get started. And if you do that long enough, you can actually end up with something like this. Okay, now we've assembled a small swatch of chainmail here just as a demonstration. These are the exact same techniques that I use to paint the full skirt for my Death Dealer costume. Now the first thing that we are gonna do is prime the PVC with Valspar Color Radiance. Most importantly here, we are using flat black. Of course, when you're painting this type of thing, you want to make sure that you do it in a well-ventilated area and wear your respirator. So the metallics are going to be the Rust-Oleum Universal Series. We have oil rubbed bronze and flat antique nickel. After the piece was sprayed with oil rubbed bronze, I used the antique nickel as a highlight layer, just picking out specific points. All right, so we finished up our demo here. Now I know this isn't very big, but if you do this process and repeat it enough times, you can end up with something like this. This Death Dealer skirt took me a couple of days to finish, but it was relatively inexpensive and fairly cheap. Now that's not saying that you can't do scale mail. Scale mail is awesome, it sounds really cool, but if you're looking to do something on a budget, I'd recommend check out PVC pipes as a viable option to making some pretty cool chain mail. Now, if you guys like this video and you liked my wife being out here in the shop with me, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe. But of course, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to have lots more tutorials and tips. Now, if there's stuff that you guys want to see in particular, be sure to leave a comment below and we'll see what we can do about that. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah? You going to thank them? <laughs> thank you. All right.